Welcome in. You're watching the Bucks Week 3 Scout Team Report. 2-0. You would think all is good in the world, right? Well, you'd be absolutely wrong. Our wide receiver room is pretty much decimated. Mike Evans has been suspended for the hit on Marshawn Lattimore last week. Um, Chris Godwin has been ruled out already. And Julio Jones, Rashad Perriman, and Russell Gage are all questionable. So I don't know who Brady's going to throw to. Hopefully at least some of these guys play in the game. If between Jones, Perriman, and Gage, if any of those guys go, I like them in the lineup this week. Um, Brady's got to throw to somebody. They're all experienced receivers. Brady's shown an affinity for throwing to Perriman. So if he's in the lineup, I especially like him. Um, the Bucks signed Cole Beasley to kind of fill in some depth while we get healthy. I expect him to get some touches if he plays, but not a ton, not enough to um, depend on him in fantasy this week. Um, so moving on to Brady himself, um, given that his, he's missing his three favorite targets, or could be at least if Jones doesn't go, um, and the fact that he's facing a Packer defense that's ranked number eight overall and number one against um, as far as passing plays against, so they limit the volume of opposing quarterbacks, um, I think that sets Brady up for a mediocre type of performance. I think he can bounce back and get, some, get the ball in the end zone a couple of times, but I'm not expecting him to put up you know, highlight real numbers. Um, moving on to running back, Fournette is also on the injury list. Um, he did practice in a limited fashion on Friday. Um, he also, interestingly enough, apologized to fantasy owners and promised that touchdowns are coming. And I actually believe him. I think, um, especially in this game with, again, as you can see, this is a theme, our three, three, a number of wide receivers not in the lineup. I think we're going to depend on the running game and Fournette, if he's able to play, will be heavily involved, but um, keep up with whether he'll, he's actually going, going to be playing or not and make sure to sit him if he's ruled out of the lineup. Um, tight end, either they've been active, inactive or between Kyle Rudolph and Cam Brate, or they might as well have been ruled inactive based on the amount of involvement in the passing game our tight ends have received. Um, I, until they prove otherwise, I would recommend keeping them out of the lineup. Um, and kicker, I think the Ryan Suckup is set up nicely for another big performance. Just the way the offense has played so far this year, moving the ball up and down the field, but struggling to get it in the end zone, um, I think sets itself up nicely to um, give Ryan Suckup a solid performance with a bunch of kicks. The only thing is it's the first game in Rain Raymond James Stadium, which has historically been very difficult for kickers. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a miss also. So keep that in mind. And lastly, the Bucks defense is rated number one overall in the league, um, giving up very few points, um, number one in sacks and in um, scoring points. So I think they're a must play, but of course they're facing Aaron Rodgers this week. So that kind of limits the upside. I wouldn't be surprised to see Rodgers. He's going to come in determined to finally beat Brady in a Bucks uniform. Um, so he's going to come in. I wouldn't be surprised to see him early, especially while the Bucks defense gets settled down in the first game at Ray J. Um, to see him put the Packers on the board with a couple of touchdowns. Um, so that's it for the week three scout team report. Um, best of luck this week, and I'll see you next week. Go Bucks!